All right, guys, welcome to another uh, video lecture. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Parliament Limits and the English Monarchy. All right. <clears throat> so the Virgin Queen, Queen Elizabeth I, dies in 1603 without an heir after 44 years on the throne. So again, um, Elizabeth I... Born September 7th, 1533, dies 24th of March. 1603 was Queen of England and Ireland from the 17th of November, 1558, until their death on the 24th of March, 1603. Uh, sometimes called the Virgin Queen, Gloriana, or Good Queen Bess. Elizabeth was, the la sorry. Elizabeth was the last of the five monarchs of the House of Tudor. Okay? And of course, the other famous uh, Tudor monarch being King Henry VIII. Um, Elizabeth was the daughter of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, his second wife, who was executed two and a half years after Elizabeth's birth. Anne's marriage to Henry VIII was annulled, and Elizabeth was declared illegitimate. Um, her half-brother, Edward VI, ruled until his, until his death in 1553, uh, bequeathing the crown to Lady Jane Grey and ignoring the claims of his two half-sisters. Uh, the Roman Catholic Mary, and the younger Elizabeth, in spite of statute law to the contrary. Edward's will was set aside, and Mary became queen, uh, deposing Lady Jane Grey during Mary's wedding. Uh, Elizabeth was imprisoned for nearly a year on suspicion of supporting uh, Protestant rebels. In 1558, upon Mary's death, Elizabeth succeeded her half-sister to the throne, and set out to rule by good counsel. She depended heavily on a group of trusted advisors led by William Cecil, first Baron of Berkeley. One of her first actions as queen was the establishment of an English Protestant church of which she became the supreme governor. Um, the Elizabethan religious settlement was to evolve into the Church of England. It was expected that Elizabeth would marry and produce an heir. However, despite numerous courtships, she never did. She was eventually succeeded by her first cousin twice removed, James VI of Scotland. She had earlier been responsible for the imprisonment and execution of James's mother, Mary, Queen of Scots. In government, Elizabeth was more moderate than her father and half-siblings had been. One of her models was uh, Video et Tassio, I see but say nothing. In religion, she was relatively tolerant and avoided systematic persecution. After the Pope declared her illegitimate in 1570 and released her subjects from obedience to her, several conspiracies threatened her life, all of which were defeated with the help of her minister's secret service. Elizabeth was cautious in foreign affairs, uh, maneuvering between the major... Um, powers of France and Spain. She only um, <clears throat> half-heartedly supported a number of ineffective, poorly uh, resourced military campaigns in the Netherlands, uh, France, and Ireland. By the mid-1580s, England could no longer avoid war with Spain. Um, England's victory against the Spanish Armada in 1588 associated Elizabeth with one of the greatest military victories in English history. So as she grew older, Elizabeth became celebrated for her virginity. A cult grew around her, which was celebrated in the portraits, pageants, and literature of the day. Elizabeth's reign became known as the Elizabethan era. The period is famous for the flourishing of English drama led by playwrights such as William Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe, and for the seafaring uh, prowess of English adventurers such as Francis Drake. Uh, some historians depict Elizabeth as a short-tempered, sometimes indecisive ruler who enjoyed more than her share of luck. Uh, towards the end of her reign, a series of economic and military problems weakened her popularity. Elizabeth is acknowledged as a charismatic performer and a dog survivor in an era when government was ramshackle and limited, uh, and when monarchs in neighboring countries faced internal problems that jeopardized their thrones. Um, after the short reigns of her half-siblings, her 44 years on the throne uh, provided uh, welcome stability for the kingdom and helped forge a sense of national identity. 
All right, so James the uh, 1603 to 1625, becomes king when Elizabeth the first dies. Uh, fights with Parliament over taxes and money. Founds the Jamestown colony. Uh, survives the Gunpowder Plot assassination. So the Gunpowder Plot of 1605 was a failed assassination attempt against King James I by a group of provincial Catholics led by Robert Catsby and Guy Fox. Uh, Fox was discovered uh, guarding 36 barrels of gunpowder, enough to reduce the House of Lords to rubble and arrested. Okay, um, and of course the Jamestown colony is the colony that was in the um, Americas. So Charles I uh, struggles with Parliament, signs the Petition of Right, uh, limits rights of the king. Um, after dis uh, dissolving Parliament, a civil war against the armies of Parliament executed for treason. So Charles I was king of England, king of Scotland, and king of Ireland from the 27th of March, 1625, until his execution in 1649. Uh, Charles was born into the House of Stuart as the second son of King James VI of Scotland, but after his father inherited the throne in English throne in 1603 as James I, he moved to England, uh, where he spent much of the rest of his life. Um, he became heir apparent to the three kingdoms of England, Scotland, and Ireland in 1612 on the death of his elderly um, elder brother, Henry Frederick, Prince of Wales, an unsuccessful and unpopular attempt to marry him to the Spanish Habsburg Princess Mar uh, Maria Anna, culminated in an eight-month visit to Spain in 1623 that demonstrated the futility of the marriage negotiations. Two years later, he married the Bourbon Princess Henrietta Maria of France. Uh, after succession in 1625, Charles quarreled with the Parliament of England, who sought to curb his royal prerogative. Charles believed in the divine right of kings and was determined to uh, govern according to his con own conscience. Uh, many of his subjects opposed his policies, in particular the levying of taxes without parliamentary consent, and perceived his actions as those of a tyrannical absolute monarch. Um, his religious policies, coupled with his marriage to a Roman Catholic, generated the antipathy and mistrust of reform groups such as the English Puritans and Scottish Covanters, who his views were too Catholic. Um, his supported high church Anglican ecclesiastics such as uh, Richard Montagu and William Lloyd and failed to aid Protestant forces uh, successfully during the Thirty Years' War. His attempts to force the Ch Church of Scotland to adopt high Anglican practices led to the Bishops' Wars, uh, strengthened the position of the English and Scottish parliaments, and helped precipitate his own downfall. Uh, from 1642, Charles fought the armies of the English and Scottish parliaments in the English Civil War. After his defeat in 1645, he surrendered to a Scottish force that eventually handed him over to the English Parliament. Uh, Charles refused to accept his captors' demands for a constitutional monarchy and temporarily escaped captivity in November 1647. Re-imprisoned on the Isle of Wight, Charles forced, forged an alliance with Scotland, but by the end of 1648, Oliver Cromwell's New model army had consolidated its control over England. Charles was tried, convicted, and executed for high treason in, in January 1649. The monarchy was abolished, and the Commonwealth, Commonwealth of England was established as a republic. The monarchy would be restored to Charles's son, Charles II, in 1660. So Oliver Cromwell, uh, 1649 to 1648, Puritan Army General, abolishes the monarchy, rules as a military dictator, and has Charles I executed. So born on 25th of April, 1599, died September 3rd, 1658, was an English general and statesman who led the uh, Parliament of England's armies against King Charles I during the English Civil War and ruled the British Isles as Lord Protector from 1653 until his death in 1658. He acted simultaneously as head of state and head of government of the new Republican Commonwealth. A Cromwell was born into the middle gentry to a family descended from the sister of Henry VIII's minister Thomas Cromwell. A little is known of the first 40 years of his life as only four of his personal letters survive 
along with a summary of a speech that he delivered in 1628. He became an independent Puritan after undergoing a religious conversion in the 1630s, uh, taking a generally tolerant view towards the many Protestant sects of his period. He was an intensely religious man, a self-styled Puritan Moses, and he fervently believed that God was his guiding Sorry, that God was guiding his victories. He was elected member of parliament for Huntington in 1628 and for Cambridge in the short uh, 1640 and long 1640 to 1649 parliaments. He entered the English Civil Wars on the side of the Roundheads or Parliamentarians, nicknamed Old Ironsides. He demonstrated his ability as a commander and was quickly promoted from leading a single cavalry troop uh, to being one of the principal commanders of the new model army playing an important role under General Sir Thomas Fairfax in the defeat of the Royalist Cavalier forces. Uh, Cromwell was one of the signatories of King Charles I's death war in 1649, and he dominated the short-lived Commonwealth of England as member of the Rump Parliament 1649-1653. He was selected to, to take command of the English campaign in Ireland in 1649-1650. Uh, Cromwell's forces defeated the Confederate and Royalist coalition in Ireland and occupied the country, uh, bringing to an end the Irish Confederate Wars. Uh, during this period, a series of penal laws were passed against Roman Catholics, a significant minority in England and Scotland, but the vast majority in Ireland, uh, and a substantial amount of their land was confiscated. Uh, Cromwell also led a campaign against the Scottish army between 1650 and 1651. On the 20th of April, 1653, um, he dismissed the Rump Parliament by force, setting up a short-lived nominated assembly known as uh, Bare Bones Parliament before in being invited by his fellow leaders to rule as Lord Protector of England, which included Wales at the time, Scotland, and Ireland from 16th of December to 1653. As a ruler, he executed an aggressive and effective foreign policy. He died from natural causes in 1658 and was buried in Westminster, Westminster Abbey. The Royalists returned to power along with King Charles II in 1660, and they had his corpse dug up, hung in chains, and beheaded. Cromwell is one of the first, sorry, is one of the most controversial figures in the history of the British Isles, considered a regicidal dictator by historians such as David Sharp, a military dictator by Winston Churchill, and a hero, hero of liberty by John Milton, Thomas Carlyle, and Samuel Rawson Gardiner. His tolerance of Protestant sects did not extend to Catholics. Uh, his measures against them in Ireland have been characterized by some as genocidal or near genocidal, and his uh, record is harshly criticized in Ireland. He was selected as one of the 10 greatest Britons of all time in a 2002 BBC poll. All right, so the Commonwealth of England was so ruled by the Rump Parliament, Puritan reforms for the nation's morals, religious toleration for the first time. So the Rump Parliament was the English Parliament after Colonel Thomas Pride purged the Long Parliament in December 1648 of those members hostile to the grandees, intention to try King Charles I for high treason. A uh, rump normally means the uh, hind end or backside of a mammal. Uh, it use sorry its use meaning remnant was first recorded in the above context in English. Most of the members of the rump wanted to promote godliness, but also to restrict the more extreme Puritan sects like the Quakers and the Ranters. Um, an adultery act of May 1650 imposed the death penalty for incest and, adult and adultery and three months imprisonment for fornication. The blasphemy act of August 1650 was aimed at curbing extreme religious enthusiasm to stop extreme evangelicals from preaching. They formed a committee for the proper propagation of the gospel, which issued licenses to preach. Uh, to allow Puritans uh, freedom of worship, they repealed the Elizabethan requirement of compulsory attendance at an Anglican church. All right, so Charles II, exiled to France during Cromwell's rule, restores the monarchy after Cromwell's death, dissolves Parliament, known as the Merry Monarch. Uh, during, sorry, despite these, um, despite things being good during the Restoration, there was also a resurgence of the Black Plague and the Great Fire of London. 
Uh, people in Stuart Britain enjoyed a variety of pastimes, including country dances, singing and listening to live music, going to see a play at the theater, and witnessing the glory, the sorry, the gory spectacle of blood sports, including cockfighting and bear baiting. So 1685 to 1688, um, this is James II, brother of Charles II, uh, Roman Catholic, which upset Protestants in England, struggles with Parliament, overthrown in the Glorious Revolution, uh, quote-unquote peaceful. So Charles II had 12 children, but none of them were illegitimate or with his wife. Uh, James II would be the last Roman Catholic monarch of England, Scotland, and Ireland. His reign is now remembered primarily for struggles over religious tolerance. So William and Mary, 1688 to 1702, offered the throne by Parliament. Mary is James II's daughter, begins the constitutional monarchy, shares the power with Parliament. So although Mary's father, James II, was Roman Catholic, Mary and her sister Anne were raised as Anglicans as the wishes of their uncle, King Charles II. He lacked our legitimate children, making Mary second in the line of succession as James, um, James's eldest child. Uh, she married her first, sorry, she married her Protestant first cousin, William of Orange, in 1677. Uh, Charles died in 1695, and James took the throne, making uh, Mary heir presumptive. James's attempt at rule by decree in the birth of his son, James Francis uh, Edward Stuart, led to his deposition in the Glorious Revolution and the adoption of the English Bill of Rights. Uh, the Bill of Rights 1689 is a landmark act in the constitutional law of England. It lays down limits on the powers of the monarch and sets out the rights of Parliament, uh, including the requirement for um, regular parliaments, free elections, and uh, freedom of speech in Parliament. It sets out certain rights of individuals, including the prohibition of cruel and unusual punishment, and re-established uh, the right of Protestants to have arms for the defense within the rule of law. So it also includes no right of taxation without Parliament's um, agreement. All right, so we're just going to talk about this, not really kind of discuss it, since obviously this is like a pre-recorded lecture. But how did the rights for the average English person change over this period? Uh, while they gained more religious freedom during the time of Cromwell, other liberties were curtailed. Uh, things improved during the Restoration, unless you were a strict Puritan, but finally uh, enjoyed uh, the most freedom and rights after the Bill of Rights um, in 1689. So this painting here shows Henry uh, Stuart, Prince of Wales, the eldest son of James I. Okay. All right, guys, so again, thanks for tuning in. Again, please make sure that you are watching these video lectures. I'll see you next time. Bye.